I am just a child who has never grown up. I still keep asking these how and why questions. Occasionally, I find an answer. A man who failed many times in order to succeed. Born on 8th January 1942. Stephen Hawken did not learn to properly read until he was 8 years old and was a below average student in high school. He tended to put only minimum time into his studies in college, despite graduating with honors from Oxford University at the age of 17. Hawken was just 21 when he was diagnosed with ALS and the doctors estimated that he had just two and a half years left to live. Amyotropic lateral sclerosis causes nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord to weaken and eventually die. When these motor neurons die, the brain can no longer control muscle movement and the body is paralyzed. The news was, of course, devastating. His girlfriend, who became his wife, helped him to cope with the adjustment and fight depression. Hawken derived hope from the fact that he still had some time left and he began to take new interest in his studies and his research. Hawken has said, Although there was a cloud hanging over my future, I found to my surprise that I was enjoying life in the present more than before. Hawken shows that setting your mind to a goal and going for it is what being human is all about. After his diagnosis, Hawken began studying black holes and the origin of the universe. As his health diminished, he began using a wheelchair. His life and his research flourished. His research received public recognition in 1974 when he demonstrated that black holes are not information vacuums as once thought, but they emit a stream of particles. His discovery and publications made him famous in the scientific community and eventually around the world. His subsequent theories continue to further the world's understanding of the universe. His disease continued to progress, however, and by the mid-1970s, he needed more care and his speech was so slurred that only his family could understand him. In 1985, Hawken had another health scare when he contracted pneumonia. He became so ill that his doctors put him on ventilator and asked his wife if she wanted to stop life support efforts. Instead, she had him flown back to Cambridge where he received a tracheotomy, an operation that helped him breathe but permanently took away his ability to speak, prompting the creation of his famous speech synthesizer, which he operates using the remaining muscles he still controls in his cheek. For the last three years, I have been on full-time ventilation, but this has not prevented me from leading a full and active life. He did make a full recovery, however, allowing him to finish writing A Brief History of Time, which sold 10 million copies around the world. He had a positive outlook towards life. On questioning him about his condition, he answered, I try to lead as normal a life as possible and not think about my condition or regret the things it prevents me from doing, which are not that many. His brilliant mind remains unaffected by ALS. Hawken has 12 honorary degrees and has received multiple awards, medals and prizes. He has even appeared on a number of television shows. Even a movie was made on his life which later won an Oscar. Today, that is on the 14th of March 2018, this great fighter left the world. Hawkins' life story serves as an inspiration to children and adults, especially those who are struggling with a chronic or serious illness. He taught the world that life is all about how you take it and what you make out of it. Hawken reminds us to stay as curious as we once were as children. He shows us how to be courageous. Not everything is impossible and through the impossibility we can discover answers just by asking questions. He serves as a prime example in never giving up. Edupedia World pays tribute to this great scientist.